Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 4 of Terra Firmacraft. So, between uh, this episode and the last one, I have been doing a little bit of everything. Um, I've been digging a bit. Let me show you the uh, mine shaft that I've dug out. I've also run out of picks, both one and two times. Yes, there is a bed in my mine. Don't ask. I've been digging this area out, trying to find some ores, but... I lack a prospector's pick and I should really get that. And this as well, and we found some, I think this is conglomerate rock in this area. Um, I have also built myself a house. It's a simple house. Um, I put a forge in there just to make sure that I can cook some food without having to spend too much time. Um, it's a simple house. Built out of uh, bricks, I can't remember which type it is, it's granite I think. And I used the white cedar planks up top. And it's got a, as I said, a forge. And the chimney is behind here. And uh, it has a pit where I can throw, uh, throw items away. They will go disappearing after a while. Uh, some chest with food. I've cooked a lot of pork. Um, a little bit of everything. Some spruce logs. Some coal. I also have a normal fire pit here in case I need to do something I can't do with uh, uh, with the with the forge. So I was thinking I should test this out and see if I can smelt. Let's see. So if I really, really heat this up, I don't know if I can reach the temperature. Maybe I should use the bloomery instead. Hmm, maybe I should. I don't know. Um. As you can see, I made bells for this one. I'm gonna make an, uh, another one for the forge down there. No glass yet. There is a reason why I wanna make glass. It's because I have updated to the latest version of the game, uh, uh, build 47F, uh, and there is a big change to how uh, the charcoal pits work, and uh, I'll explain that in a bit. But basically. Um, you don't get the charcoal into the fire pit below, it just, yeah, just uh, falls out into into the world. Let's test the bloomery. It doesn't look like that's gonna work. Hmm. No, I don't think I can make glass this way. That's a bit sad. Well, do I have... I have two small uh, cassiterite and a little bit of unshaped tin there. Let me see if I can make an ingot out of this. So, let's throw that in and throw that in. Is that enough? I need more coal. Here's the thing, I'm soon going to need a lot more coal as well, so at least now we're at the same amount here. And I put the mold with the unshaped tin in, and hopefully that will be enough. For this, I'm going to use the hammer and make myself... Uh, it's not melting yet. Get the heat up a bit. No, that was not enough. That's sad. Oh well, I'll let that cool off and um, see if there's anything else I can do. No, I really need to find more cassiterite. There is a good thing with that though, because off in that direction, quite the walk, I found a cave. Um, in this cave, well, it's not a cave, it's more like a small little cave area, one of these overhangs. 
Uh, anyhow, I found uh, Cassiterite. So I'm going to grab myself a bunch of white cedar. There we go. I'm also going to grab some granite because I need to make sure I have enough axis. Like that. There we go. Not that one. That one. Well, I do have axes right now, so that won't work. Um, let's see. Let me just store away the extra sticks. And uh, I'll wait for sun to rise. I'll also get myself the, uh, the bed from below there. I don't need the fences with me, do I? I'll put them in there. I use fences for uh, windows. Works quite well. And I also made myself some leather armor. So, while I'm waiting for the sun to set here, uh, let's check the calendar. As you can see, it's the 11th of April. So, quite a lot of days have passed. Uh, a lot of this time was spent underground mining. It does take quite some time mining with that uh, simple tool that I have. More hickory. Not that I'm sure I'm even going to need that, but yeah. I'll just store it away here. And we have night time. So. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm going to go down and uh, pick up the bed and head off to the place off in the distance where I found the, uh, found the tin. So I'll be right back with you guys. On my way there I found some bismuth. So I'm actually going to... <coughs> sorry. I'm... Yeah, it's just in the southeastern area of that, uh, of that snowy area. These hills seem to have a lot of bismuth in them, which is good, because that means uh, I can probably dig in here, but I'm going to get myself the prospector's pick, because that will help me a lot. We'll also um, set up some sluices today, I think. And that will help a lot when it comes to... Ooh, that was more of that. I wonder... Do I have a shovel? Uh, sluices are quite neat, but they take a bit of effort to set up. No, it's just normal rock. Um, but I'm gonna put down at least four, I think, so we can have them running, because they take some time. And uh, there is an area where I want to run them, so... I should really stop jumping and use smart moving more. So here's a cave that I found. I put a torch in here, I think. No, I didn't. Um, but it doesn't seem like there's anything interesting in this one. Uh, it's a bit of a walk, as you can see. So I'm going to cut out a little bit of the journey here, unless I find anything interesting. And I'm here. Awesome. So, what I'm gonna have to do here is I'm gonna have to support this roof. Um, let's put up some torches so I see what I'm doing. And um, let's uh, make a couple of vertical supports. And um, a couple couple of horizontal ones. There we go. Um, that way I know I can do... Okay, that's a bit of a bug. Hmm. That's gonna be tricky. 
Because I can't dig this. I'm gonna have to do this then. Yeah, we're gonna have to dig out a little bit of soil and fill that area in so we get rid of the water. Can't wait for pumps or similar to be in, cause that would really help. That was the last of that shovel. Well, it should be enough to at least get started in here. And I do have uh, the rocks for another shovel. What was that? I don't like that sound. Oh, it was there. <sighs> We're gonna shave off a little bit of this corner here and... Yeah. Is the sun setting already? It's high. That's the reason why I brought the bed along, so I can take a quick, na quick nap up, up in this mountain area here. It's quite the ridge here. At some point I'm gonna have to clear that out, I think. Now I should be able to dig this out. Perfect. And if I put a horizontal support there and a vertical one across here, and I can place another horizontal there, that should support this. No, it didn't. I'm alive. Oh, it only supports on the level and one above, so okay. I got some cassette right at least. So what I want to do is... Hmm. So I want to dig this out from up there there. Dig this from above. Awesome. This is quite a big vein. Well, I have no idea how big it is actually since this is all I've seen of it so far. But it's looking very good. And it stacks up to 8, so... Yes, I'm going to run out of inventory space quite soon. Wow, guys, look at this. I think I'm gonna be set for 10 for a while. At least so I can make myself a prospector's pickaxe. And I'm gonna do this to clear out the water. Let's uh, put some horizontal supports up there. Just gonna put my bed down somewhere and uh, Yeah, we're gonna have to sleep soon. This is quite a lot of ore. There we go. 
So I'm gonna keep digging this out and head back to base once my bag is, well, my backpack or whatever it is, is totally full of stuff here. I'm gonna need another shovel, so I'll see you guys back in base. Yeah, see you in a bit. As you guys can probably see up there on the hill, I'll zoom in, there is this uh, tree here with some colored leaves. Uh, that's actually a cherry tree and I managed to grab some saplings of it. This tree is still not um, giving off any fruit but there's another cherry tree over there. I'll be sure to go and try and get some saplings off of that. Um, you can plant these uh, saplings for fruit, fruit trees. I haven't tried this yet. We'll make an orchard at some point but it's not really anything that I'm gonna stress about doing right now. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. I'm now slowly making my way back home. I got a nice little haul of eight stacks of cassiterite. That's nice. We're gonna need that. I'm gonna need to make a prospector's pick and um, and um Cave. Uh, prospector's pick and uh, a few other things. I should probably make myself a sword as well. Um, running low on time here, but that should be okay. And that skeleton there does not want to fight me. That's what I've decided at least. <laughs> What's this here? Oh yeah. It's a cave area that I found. It does not contain anything fun, unfortunately. So, as you can see, there's a lot of walking and skipping along. You should have seen me in the other Let's Play. I tried to avoid these um, uh, long-distance walks as much as possible by using... Uh, mod items like jetpacks, stuff like that. But in terra firma, I've decided to stick with this. And really, I think it would be cheating to just fly around, wouldn't it? Yeah. So this is an area where I dug down, but I couldn't have, couldn't find anything, find anything really important there. So, okay, back home. I don't think I have nearly enough coal to smelt all this consider right and I don't have storage space either so um, if I make that's a chest a full chest um, if I make one of these chests um, for consider right only could work and we'll put it here, I suppose. And that's for Cassiterite only. Let's uh, grab... Well, this is all the charcoal we have left, so... How many molds do I have? I have some. And uh, let me put... Actually, just one for now. We'll light this up and throw these molds in here and they will be warming up and uh, let me find the house real quick and get rest because I don't want to fight zombies I don't get along well with zombies um, yeah I have one piece of coal there should be enough to cook food for yeah so, let's make more tin. I think I'm gonna make another hammerhead or two. I think that might be a good plan. So, let's go into this and uh, let's see. The hammerhead was something like this, wasn't it? Yes just to make sure in case any of these hammers 
are broken in the time I spend trying to figure this out. So let's see if it works. No, I need to restart the game. This is a bit of a bug, I don't know why it happens. This is a normal rock and it should work. But if I just really log, or well, exit to menu and go back in, it works. So I'll be right back with you. There we go. So I've started to get some ceramic molds here. Let's grab a stack of cassiterite and throw them in a couple at a time here. And then for that, I need a little bit more coal. There we go. Now I can actually put in one more of these. That's pretty good. Let's uh, get the one that we have already. And once it is heated up enough, which we could probably do there, the output should increase. Perfect, and perfect, and it's half a one. I can do a couple more. Is that enough? Yep. And these will be cooling down now. Um, tin needs to be worked at, I believe it's hot to very hot. Perfect. Well, considering that I have a little bit of coal, I could just throw in some of these small ones. Put that in there. Orange, yellow. This should give me a couple of ingots. More ore than I have coal again. This is a tricky balance issue. There we go. That's as much as I'm going to get right now. I don't want to smelt it all up. But I'm going to make ingots out of these three. Let's uh, put away... I don't know why I have that in there. Hmm... I don't really have a chest for general mining items. So that one is the coldest one. So let's put that one in and that. I'm gonna bend it a couple times and then hit it. Oh wait, that's not the coldest one. Yes it is. So I'm going to wait for these to cool and I'll be back once uh, we're ready. And this one is cooling off rapidly. A bit too quick. We're almost there. Let's see. Come on. There we go. That's one ingot, and that one I need to hurry with. That's another ingot, and that one is now very hot, so we're almost there, guys. Got two ingots out of a stack. Well, that's about right, I suppose. So about four uh, full-sized ore for an ingot. I don't know, maybe something like that. I can't quench. Hmm. And I need to warm these ingots up again. I'm going to do that one at a time, or we'll have trouble. 
Oh dear. Hammer went bad. Perfect! We have ingots. Now, I'm gonna get myself the prospector's pick head. And this one should be workable. So, punch. Oh, it's too cold. What is the rule for this? Punch needs to be last. Draw and bend. So I bend, draw, punch. So I'm like, bend, draw, punch. Okay. Something like that. So... Put some coal in here. And we'll heat this up to... Hot and four. Just gonna have to be careful here or we will lose the items by melting them. There we go. Hot with that and that. So bend, bend, draw, punch. Bend, draw, punch. Ah, uh, I just need a punch on that one. Oh, tricky, 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 tricky. Maybe, 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 I just need to put it in and punch, but I don't know. Probably not. There we go. And this goes in and that goes in. So does that and I need to punch. Tin prospectors pick head. Awesome! Now... While I have this going, I'm going to also make a saw and a hoe. No. I'm missing one. Um. We're gonna make these ones, I think. Yes. Perfect. What do I need to do with this so I'm a bit prepared? Hit, draw, bend. Well, bend, draw, hit in that case. We can do that. Um, let's put away the... That should do. Let's... Um Heat up that tin ingot. I should probably get a bells for this one as well, but... You know. And I should sleep. I really need to make this a part of my house. Which I'll work on off camera, I think. One moment. There we go. Oh, throwing away my hammer. We need to get this to hot, and this is the one we're making, well, it doesn't really matter. Let's make the saw first. No, let's make that one first, I looked that one up. Let's try to get it to hot and four. a lot of waiting here guys there we go and that no that's not gonna work let's try that again Oh, 
Oh, we're getting there. I'm starting to slowly get a hang of how how the blacksmith hammer works, which is quite nice. There we go. Bend. Ah, hammer broke. Draw. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna work with this off camera. It's gonna take a while. I'm also gonna make this saw. Uh, so I have that one. Back in a bit. Yeah, the scythe blade was not perfect, but it's gonna work. It's not something that I foresee losing quickly anyhow. The saw however needs to be a bit... Um, what's uh, for the saw again? Um, let's put in the plan. Annie and then hit hit. Okay, yeah. That's gonna be easy enough. Yeah, definitely getting a bellows for this one. And we're gonna have to make some more charcoal, and I'm gonna have to try another design. Not really sure how I wanna do this, but we'll figure it out. I'm gonna have to babysit that one though. There we go. Let's try this, shall we? And I'll just hit, 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 and we have a tin saw blade. Perfect. Now I can put the plans away, and let's make that one. Wow, looks mean, doesn't it? And the prospector's pick, and the saw blade. Now, using a, an axe to get planks gives me 4, but using that gives me 12, so I've just quite a lot increased my uh, my total amount of wood and everything, so that's good. Um, I'll do that and uh, make a couple of chests. I really, really need to figure out some sort of way to store things a bit more efficiently. I think I have a chest lying around in a chest here. Yes, there. Um, this chest needs to go. It's totally in the way. Um, I could probably just do this. And since that's rock, this could be... I don't know. We'll put tools up here. Makes sense to have them stored away somewhere. Really, when we're underground, we're only going to need the stone hammer, a weapon, and a chisel for stairs. So let's put away the paper and the markings. The extra bismuth that I have. Could probably smelt that and make it... Yeah. Um, we're going to need these, though. I wonder if I take the saw and make no I still need to have an axe with me okay so I'll store that I just want to go and try this one on a tree oh look at that cheering trees the way it's supposed to be Awesome. Although, I didn't quite get as much as I was hoping for. I was hoping to get some saplings for these guys, but no. I'll just cut them down now. Yeah, so the scythes used to uh, harvest a lot of leaves and uh, sticks at the same time. And uh, yeah, I've probably not run out of sticks now. <laughs> 
but the good thing is that you get saplings and uh, I store the saplings in, in here there is the cherry tree sapling that I had um, I got some hickory stored away in there yeah, I suppose I can take these we'll store away the other items and head down underground so back once I've stored these things and here I am just headed down into my little basement now I wanted to go in here with the prospectors pickaxe and do this nothing of interest nothing of interest and nothing of interest now what if I go in this direction nothing and if I head down a couple of levels nothing so clearly there is really nothing of interest here um, I'm pretty sure that the prospectors let me check the prospectors pick will look in an area 25 so 12 ish blocks ahead not 12 blocks ahead 12 blocks behind up and to the sides so if I were to go over here with this one nothing so I probably need to head down quite some which is sad I was hoping I would have ore pretty high up here yeah alright let's uh, work on setting up a sluice then okay um, I'll sleep through the night and be back with you okay so I cut up a couple of spruce planks gonna make four of these and this is how you create the sluice alright now placing the sluice can be quite a challenge it's not really difficult, it's just a bit bothersome. <laughs> this might change this mechanic because water is no longer infinite and uh, you can't put these, uh, the infinite um, uh, infinite springs, things like that. Um, I think I'm gonna go down to this area for the sluice. Oh, another sapling. Awesome. Here's the thing. I put a block down there. It's because when I was here I actually found copper ore in this area. But as you can see, nothing of interest. So, yeah. It's probably somewhere around here. These trees have to go though. Because now I'm gonna dig out a channel for each sluice. And you dig them out. So that's one, two, three, four, five, eight. So this will be the area where the sluice goes. Okay? Actually, there. I'm gonna dig uh, this out. And um, I'll put the sluice down there. Gonna have to dig. Oh, not with the chisel. Gonna dig this area out as well. And can widen this a bit. And dig that one out. One moment. Sorry about that. That was my phone. So these sluices you dump for instance sand or gravel in them where is the sun okay yeah and uh, that will uh, that will uh, um, slowly prospect so to say the ore which is in that material so if I dig this out 
and we place down a second one. I wonder if I can dig... Yeah, I should be able to dig that one out now. Yes. Perfect. And I'm gonna make four of these so I can have a lot of materials going through at the same time. So, back in a moment. Beautiful. So, now we can get started. Gonna need some sand. And there is sand all over this place. There we go. It's 15, should do for a while. The reason why I built these sluices there is since I found copper up on the surface, that means I might actually get copper from uh, the sluices. Mind you though, these sluices take a long time to run. Uh, and when I say a long time, it's a long time. So now I'm gonna let these, this sand here, if I just drop one in there, it'll disappear and we'll go in there. That's 20. So let's do two in each. And there. That's 40 soil in each one of them that it will slowly sift through. And yeah, this will take some time. Uh, anything that it finds, if it finds anything, it will be deposited in this here grid area. So yeah, all I can do now is wait. So I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, between episodes now, I'm going to work on uh, setting up a new um, charcoal pit to make sure I get some charcoal. Um, other than that, uh, I might do a bit more smelting uh, if I get charcoal, but mm, more likely not. So, yeah. Um, oh, that's a waste. Nice. Four saplings from that. Yeah, so charcoal pit, and uh, that's about what I'm going to be doing. Because that takes a lot of time collecting. I'm gonna hit the swamp and try and get a lot of willow saplings and plant these and pray for more. So, see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Bye bye.